chicas. Guys, I went a little bit crazy with the bulbs, like really crazy. I don't even know how many I have here. I think it's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packets, and that's not including the other ones that I'm not even showing you just now. But so basically, uh, hostas. This is hosta undulata and hosta fortune hyacinthia. And I think it was this one that I planted last year and I'm going to be planting them again. There's two in this one and there's two in that one. And you can already see that in this one it appears that the hosta has come to life and I can see a green shoot shooting out. I hope that you can see that, I think so. So apparently they say that it's better like if you soak them for one hour I think it is prior to planting so I'm gonna try that last year I planted this one um, just like in the earth in my garden and it came up but it was just so slow maybe it is a slow grower I don't know you can tell me maybe in the comments Um, it grew so slowly probably because I didn't give it enough water because I didn't know where the F it was in the garden and uh, <laughs> Oh my god, I think my washing machine just broke. Crap. Right, so I'm going to be planting these in pots this time. So I can keep an eye on it and then I'll plant out into the garden when I know how it's doing. Check it out. So it's already sprouting. You can see like this coming out. This is the root system. And the other ones I have already put in the water to soak. Just a little bit before I plant them. I mean, I don't know how much of a difference that makes, but I've just heard that's what other people do. I did not do that last year, but we'll see how it goes. The soil that comes from here is pretty good quality, as you can see, and Dad is offering to help me today. You can just see the goats there munching away on the olive branches. Delicious! So this is one of my hosta plants and I'm going to just pop it into the vase. I'm going to take a little bit more earth out. And there we go my darling, welcome to your new home. Welcome. Give me lots of hostas and I will give you lots of love and attention. You know, I just like them because I like, I really love plants that have like textured leaves that you know are not just like the general green leaf these have like beautiful white strokes you know and they they have these lovely big chunky leaf shapes I, just, I sound like an absolute obsessed woman but I know what I like and I like these plants and I know what else likes them and that's the freaking slugs okay my little love we've got one and two okay i put them in separate vases just so i'm going to try and experiment maybe put one in full sun and then one in half shade and we'll see how that goes let's do the second one so this is the other kind that we have you can see that coming up there we go i love looking at plants root systems i think it's so cool look at the right so that's coming up let's put that in a little one as well We'll put them in this one. No, maybe not. Let's put them in this one. Tante piccolino. And I will plant these out into the garden. There we go. There you are, my little love. 
Right. So it is in there. It's just it's got his little head popping up. There we go. Okay. Two and another one. 